Kyle Peltier was with his children on a playground in North Minneapolis when they were hit by an SUV that was being chased by the Minnesota State Patrol. Three of Kyle's children were hurt, two critically. WCCO's Reg Chapman has more on how Mac V helped this family in their time of need. I was an infantry rifleman, just in an infantry battalion. I deployed to Iraq twice, uh, just in counterinsurgency. For four years, Kyle Peltier served his country. The Marine completed two tours of duty in Iraq. Going over there, kick, kicking down doors, take, trying to take out the bad guy, coming home. Six months after leaving the military, Kyle married Nicole and they started a family. It wasn't long before they fell on hard times. We were homeless, so we were li living out of our van. It was during a visit to the VA hospital in Minneapolis that Kyle learned about MACV. They put the family in a hotel until they found somewhere for them to call home. Then what else did MACV do for you? Uh, everything. Uh, made sure I got to work okay. Gave me the resources towards gas cards, uh, food cards to go to the grocery store. Um, everything we could ever need was through MACV. This family made it through a rough spot, not knowing tougher times were ahead. I got the call that, you know, there had been a horrible accident. A high-speed chase through North Minneapolis on June 11th would change their lives forever. State troopers followed the SUV as it made its way into a park where Kyle was playing with his children. Caden alone, the one that was run over by the SUV, he really shouldn't be alive. Two-year-old Caden was critically injured. His four-year-old sister Liliana was hurt too. Brother Cooper escaped with minor injuries. While Caden recuperated, Nicole and Kyle learned their family was growing. Killian was born five months after the accident. He was born uh, with something called an umphalocele, and it means that his organs are on the outside of his body. His uh, liver, his, um, his bowel, and part of his stomach are inside this bump on his belly. Killian also has two holes in his heart. Not only will he need open heart surgery to fix his heart defect, he'll need another surgery to pull his abdomen walls back together. It's been a bad year for us. As far as uh, Caden's um, hospitalization, his um, initial hospitalization, um, just very stressful year. Kyle and Nicole say without Mac V, this family may not have recovered from all that went wrong. I think that I'm blessed in so many ways imaginable and I'm glad that we have Mac V to help us because if it wasn't for them we we wouldn't be here. Now this couple has eight children from eight years old to newborn, four boys and four girls all 13 months apart. Eight is enough so yeah we're really thankful for Mac V being an instrumental help and not being homeless and being able to get on our feet again. This family says it now only focuses on the positive. Mouth. Clothes. Clothes, very yeah. good. They are thankful for Caden's recovery. We were told that he wasn't gonna walk, he wasn't gonna talk. And excited to have Killian at home. Not everybody has that guardian angel and it's probably one of the best blessings that, we, that Kyle um, has gotten from the military. The Peltiers say they found a guardian angel in MACV. We really needed the help, so I was, I'm, me and my family are forever grateful for MACV. Say MACV! MACV! Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. And Reg joins us back here again. I mean, Reg, what a strong, strong family. It's so emotional. I'm so happy you told me to watch that story yesterday because it's hard to watch. I mean, enough is enough for this family, huh? It really is. And just to see little Caden walking around, running around, following his brothers and sisters after that horrible accident, just it gives you so much hope. Yeah. And their faith is what got them through this and their strong family bond. They are a close family. Mm -hmm. You know, they talked about how without the help of Mac V. They're not sure if they would have been able to get through all of right. this. And they wouldn't have. They say Mac V is their guardian angel. Whenever they needed help, Mac V has been right there. Even before the accident, Mac V has helped uh, this family just get back on their feet. And now they're in a new place. And you walk in at home, Heather and Jason, you feel so much love. And it's all because of Mac you V. You can tell. You can tell. Uh, so, what's next for the Peltier family? Well, right now, we're hoping that they're going to come down here to the stand down today. And uh, I think there might be a little surprise for the family because they deserve it. <laughs> enough is enough. And, and, uh, for, for Kyle, who is a Marine veteran. I mean, right. he was on the front lines in the war in Iraq, you know, fighting the insurgents, and, and we need to make him whole again.
Yeah, we fight for him now. Yes, we do. It's our turn. Thank you for sharing Reg, this story. Thank you.